Hey guys, this week's video is gonna look a little bit different than normal. I'm about to head to my friend Tyler Bryant's house. If you don't know of him, he's a killer rock and blues artist and guitar player. And we're gonna be going through some different unidirectional ribbon microphones. First up this week, we had a pair of Bayer M160s from the 1970s. These are hypercardioid double ribbon microphones that make a great match with guitar amps and drum overheads. Anytime that you could use it, you can always hear some music. But in our country, we got rock and roll. Well, don't you be mistaken, it's a trip that's sure worth taking. Music City's the place I call home. Well, I could drift away to Carolina. And I love to feel that California free. But if there's one thing I know, no matter where I go, well, there ain't no place like Nashville, Tennessee. Next up this week was a Tannoy ribbon microphone from the 1960s. These are made in England and they easily rival other unidirectional ribbon microphones. We're going to be comparing this one side by side with an RCA BK5. What's up, y'all? It's Tyler Bryant from The Shakedown here in Nashville, Tennessee, hanging out with my friend Cole. And we've been talking about ribbon mics, and uh, my favorite ribbon mic is actually a, uh, it's an RCA 44BX that Cole re-ribboned for me and uh, put a new cable on, and it's just a fabulous-sounding microphone. And my second go-to would be um, a 77D, I believe it is, that Cole re-ribboned. Pretty much all of my mics... Ribbon mics here have been gone through by Cole, and uh, we're having a good time shooting some mics out today. The last microphone of this week was a USA-made Shure 330 ribbon microphone. These are the unidirectional version of the Shure 315. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
This marks the end of another video. A huge thanks to Tyler Bryant for being willing to take the time to make these samples with me. I'd love for this channel to be a place where I can keep showcasing local artists and musicians. So if you're into that sort of thing, please comment below and let me know. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.